G'day YouTube, it's Shane here once again and today I'm on my way home from an appointment that I had at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. The struggle is real. Anyway, I'm on some uh, public exercise equipment, outdoor stuff. The instructions are there behind me. You can see uh, there's a whole heap of them. And it's underneath this sort of tentish thing. They probably didn't get a good look at that, but it doesn't matter. I'll shoot from uh, a distance, I think. Um, just to show you what it's like. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done a video, so thank you for staying, staying subscribed to the channel. Facial hair here is a result of No Shave November. I did have like a full on beard and it just got like too scruffy. It looked, started to look homeless. So I started to hack away at that, get rid of it, just to tidy this up a little bit. Yes, I know it goes against the No Shave November stuff, but I needed to this to be tidied. I'll prefer to be clean shaven, but we'll see how things go. Um, yeah, No Shave November is to raise awareness of men's health issues. So if you're over 40, even so, even younger, um, do go and uh, get yourself checked out by a doctor, and you know what this means. Uh, just to make sure the plumbing's working and all that sort of stuff. So you want to keep you around and catch any cancer and stuff early on. Let's see what else is happening. Thank you for those listening to the podcast through this channel i much appreciate it please click like on the podcast videos if you haven't already please do so because the last one has several comments but no likes on it so please click like every time you click like it shares it a little bit more share the podcast if you like it i've sorted out the uh the sound quality issues uh, one, I was recording away from my very noisy computer fan, and the other thing was to run the whole podcast through, like, normalizing and uh, levelating and all this other technical stuff that I don't really understand. Well, I understand the concepts, but I don't know how it works and all that. But, uh, yeah, another great day. Um, I went to the Supernova convention and saw some absolutely fantastic costumes there. People dressed up as Wasp from X-Men, a character called Moon Knight, Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a movie that you should be seeing. It's a fantastic film. Um, what else? This, it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, they had everything you could imagine there, everything from Star Wars, Star Trek, all your favourite fandoms were there, everybody got represented, I met a few um, celebrities, uh, one was the woman that played uh, Madame Vastra in uh, Doctor Who, uh, Madame Vastra is a lizard lady, um, and she was played by an actress by the name of Neve. McIntosh, oh, I got that right, uh, and she was like a, a delight, it's basically you pay like $30 to get in, right, and uh, then everything inside is largely free, obviously not the uh, merchandise and stuff, but you can go and sit on, on panels and talk to and ask questions to your favourite celebrities and things like that, it's really really good, Supernova and Oz Comic Con are basically the Australian equivalent of San Diego Comic Con. And luckily here in Adelaide there's, there'd be, there's a convention every six months or so. Okay, the noise you can hear, that's a sulfur crested cockatoo and it's about 100 metres away, which gives you an idea of how loud they are. Just some of the local fauna here. I was recording this earlier, this has taken several attempts to do, but uh, I thought, alright, I finally got, there's a train in the background, I finally got the video that I wanted, and next minute I hear an F-bomb, like someone screaming the F-bomb, and uh, behind me, over here, um, 
there's a guy having a spat with his uh, girlfriend. Obviously, they, they've just broken up. And uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to kill someone. And dramas, dramas, dramas. And I actually hit them. I uh, actually saw them hitting each other. Like, and sh she started hitting him. And he slapped her and said, oh, just like, oh, my God. And then she started running away and stuff. Uh, but I'm in a spot where I couldn't really call the police. Uh, I could have, but it's, it's just one of those iffy things. I do hear that she sorts it all out, calls the cops, do whatever. I don't, zero tolerance to abuse and stuff, but I was a good 200 metres away from what was happening and there's a fence and stuff, I couldn't get there. It all happens in here in suburbia, and I'm just thinking, oh, nice, quiet spot, nice and relaxing, a bit of dramas. Anyway, the other part of the weekend, on the Sunday, because Supernova went for two days, and I ummed and ahed about going for the second day, but instead I went to the CD, the EP and LP launch of an artist by the name of Susan Lilly. Yes, Susan L-I-L-Y, Susan Lilly, do look her up. She's got a song in the top 20, and it's been there for the last three weeks. It's called Daisy Jane. So do pop over and uh, either check out the links below or Google it, check out the song, download it, etc. Um, I was lucky just to go along and support them. I just wanted, I just wanted like a copy of the the song for myself, and I knew that the money was going to help her. She's on her way to Tamworth. Tamworth is um, is a music festival. I'm trying to uh, Nashville. It's basically the 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 Australian equivalent of Nashville. So because it's country music, and uh, yeah, yeah, but it's good to help local artists who are and these people are f super they're they're fantastic but like they're superbly quality uh, they are superbly talented but they don't see it f for themselves you know i was about to say they're, they're they are superb quality superb quality talent um and their support band was fantastic cat bird cat dog bird is the name of the band do check them out as well and there was a magician who was absolutely hilarious. His name is Scott Stunz, S-T-U-N-Z. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, do book them for events and things like that. They're very kid friendly and all that sort of stuff. So absolutely amazing. Uh, good. And also I met in person uh, one, a local podcaster by the name of Steve Davis and he runs a podcast called Another Boring Thursday Night in Adelaide and uh, yeah it's very professionally done but then again I got a few tips and trips tic, tips and tricks from him and he his setup is rather basic as well like mine but not his setup isn't as, as bad as mine he's got an office and he invites I guests in and, and stuff like that so I was only using very minimal equipment basically like a webcam uh, a little bit of free software and uh, just making sure that the environment that I was recording in was as clean and sound free as possible um, but yeah uh, it was good to actually meet these people in person um, I'm waiting for this week's show, his podcast, to find out who's going to get a mention and you know and things like that. But it was a great night. Normally, when you go to like an album launch or some of these parties, and there wasn't that many people there, so you think, oh, okay. But and because it, it was on a Sunday afternoon, so in the middle of Cow and Dilla, which is a a wealthy suburb. But uh, the venue was rather small, so. But you always want to see people that are talented and they don't believe in themselves. They they're really funny. Like they, they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in like crowdfunding or whatever. So you've got to like say, hey guys, check this out. 
and um, yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm starting to blank out. I've been here for so so long, and uh, anyway, the kookaburras are calling, and the uh, cockatoos are squawking. And I've got to do some exercise before I start walking. Anyway, that's all for me today. It's a fairly long video, but it uh, doesn't matter. Thanks for the catch up. Leave comments and whatever down below. Click like on the video. But if you could go through the podcasts, they're in a playlist, and give them a thumbs up if you listen to them. I know you have, and I know it's you, I know who you are. I know where you live. Well, I don't really, but please do it. Anyway, that's all from me today. Look after yourselves. Bye for now. Gee, I hope that girl's all right. I hate it. I hate seeing stuff like that. Bye.